Brian, I guess, has finally managed to fall asleep. <clears throat> Hopefully he's on sooner rather than later. Or otherwise, this might be the second week I gotta go without him. Which is false advertising, because you were promised Brian and chat. I'll park myself on voice just in case he pops in. So I hope you all are having a good one. For a little bit, I'm going to just fire up my training server until he comes on. Or tells me he's not coming on, and then I'll do another mission of the A-10 campaign. Okay, excuse me, and turn that off. As for why I always do a private server, it's not that I don't like you, it's that I don't like people. Maybe someday Brian will find a good community and I can join it with him, but so far it's like he finds one and then they don't like him. It's kind of one of those things I've known Brian so long. It doesn't bother me. But to anybody who doesn't know him, and he starts kicking your ass, I can see uh, feelings getting a little hurt. I feel like my rudder pedals cause more trouble than they solve. Oh yeah, that's right, they updated the engine sounds for this, too. Sweet. Laser engraving. Oh, that's cool. Epic says I do laser engraving, so I have a webcam for placing stuff in that. Then the webcam that watches me, and I have a doggo webcam. Oh, and you got a dog. Okay. Yeah. So you get a lot of people that uh, watch that? Do you stream that, or do you just post it on YouTube, the laser engraving? Another possibility is because I have the wrong stick installed. No, nope, that's it. Okay. And this is annoying. No failures found. Awesome. I can fix that. Oh fuck. Went the wrong way with it. Oh well. Hopefully everything works. I can never quite remember if it's right click or left click to make it go up or down. It's one of the nice things about Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can drag it. You want to flip it up, click it, drag it up. Yeah, Hawk, I'm flying in some 1980s hardware here. I got switches for my switches. I think the new planes, you just get an LCD screen and that's it. And if something breaks, you just gotta eject. That's it. It's broken. We taxi in this way. 
Good, he's following me. Which means I'm going the right way. How you doing, Hawk? It's funny, you showed up before Brian showed up. How late did that guy stay up? Did he stay up past you? You know, last week I understood because he was sick. This week he, he missed the stream because he stayed up too fucking late, right? Let me see if he's sent me any texts. Oh, there he is. He's finally woken up. Yeah, figures. I start the mission. I start rolling. He's like, I gotta walk a gizmo and then I'll be on. So apparently his neighbor lit themselves on fire. And he had to wait for his neighbor to stop smoldering. I always hate it when my neighbor bursts into flames like that. I don't know, I think Brian should have just pissed on him, helped put him out. Five years ago, I wouldn't have believed it, but the, these days, it's like, you know? People are stupid. do as much of this as I can before I switch back to the server. I guess that's what I should do. I should just start off in one of these missions and then Brian will just be right on. Be like, oh yeah, you're 15 minutes into the mission. I'm on now. Let's play. pretty soon. Well, G14, I mean, it's, it's gonna come down to preference. I prefer track IR and a 4K monitor. Brian prefers VR. I'm waiting for VR to get higher in definition and maybe lighter. Hey, I'm back. So your neighbors lit themselves on fire. Well, I learned some more while I was out walking Gizmo and talking to the neighbor. Uh, apparently nothing got set on fire, but what the guy did was he bought a, it, it's a new neighbor, moved in downstairs, he bought a brand new grill, propane, and he was grilling inside his living room. <clears throat> and it set off the fire alarm but nothing actually caught on fire but the fire department came they weren't here the whole hour the problem is is that I left in such a hurry that I grabbed a gizmo no leash and grabbed my car keys got into the car and at some point between the time that they left and I contacted you I fell asleep in the car so sorry about that slept in on me well usually with a phone I don't do that but all I had was my car and a dog <coughs> Gizmo is probably all kinds of confused that suddenly you're sleeping in your car why is my computer starting onward on me I don't know So you got your mission ready to go? Yeah, as soon as I shut off this game that I didn't ask for. That's weird. Did 
Yeah. These people are stupid. Yeah, people are really stupid. Really fucking stupid. Like I keep saying, way back, these people used to get eaten by mountain lions. That was their purpose. So then everybody else could get away. And there's no more mountain lions. So now we're stuck with them. Was he a first floor or a second floor? First floor. Well, it's also good he didn't have one because he would have killed his upstairs neighbor too. Doesn't carbon monoxide rise? Uh, the carbon monoxide does, but the other problem is, is that the propane itself, uh, it pulls at the bottom, so he'd be like sandwiched. <clears throat> right. Nowhere to duck, nowhere to stand. So last night in my shopping around for stuff, I told Hawk this. Oh yeah, here we go. G14s, yeah, I've heard VR is a better feeling in general when it comes to situational awareness and stuff like that. Meanwhile, track R is just still being like on the monitor without your mouse. Yes. Um, track R takes a lot of getting used to. I would say you're looking at maybe three months. That's about how long it took me to really get used to it. And now, now it's fine. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I am. No, he's not a chain smoker, for the record. Um, yeah, so, yeah, VR, it's a lot easier because you're looking where you're looking. is uh, You're not having to get used to anything. You just pop the VR helmet on and away you go. I would say if you know somebody who has VR, try it out. If you like it, do DCS and VR. The thing is, I I have a lot of reasons why I don't do VR. I mean, I stream, so I like having my two monitor set up, so I have my dashboard here. That and let's face it. Like, if I got a VR headset on, I might as well turn off my fucking webcam, because nobody wants... They want to see the eyes, they want to see the facial expression. Well, Father Bill has like 3,000 followers, and he uh, he has those googly eyes on his VR headset, so... Yeah, That's it's good all about for him. Eyes. How many do you have? Hmm? How many do you have? Well, I have a day job. Father Bill but seems to stay, uh, Father Bill seems to have a lot of free time. Yep. One second. And a lot of money. So last night I was talking about scale modeling and that hobby shop has, um, metal detail barrels for the chain gun. Cool. So I think I'll go back there, see if he's got any more paint in stock. Get some more of uh, the paints I need. Mm -hmm. Grab that uh, detail kit off of him. His website says he's got five of them in stock, so I'd be highly surprised if he sells out of them anytime soon. I would, that would mean there's an awful lot of people suddenly buying, building a 170 second scale Apache that want detail barrels. <laughs> but I keep checking my email for confirmation of shipment of that uh, build as you go enterprise. I hope they actually send me a 
shipment notification and it doesn't just show up on my doorstep one day because that would annoy the fuck out of me because there's things I want to have ready for when it gets here. So that's why I keep looking for the shipment confirmation. What the fuck? Now what? It started me inside the hangar sideways. <laughs> I mean, you made the mission, so I don't know. This has never happened before. <laughs> Sounds like you pissed off Chief. It's like this motherfucker keeps ejecting on the tarmac. I'm gonna put his fucking plane in sideways. We'll see him get out now. I gotta go to the editor and find out what the hell. If you're in the F-16 and the hangar's not too small, you could probably turn it around. Uh, it's too tight. Yeah, I hate it when it's too tight. It'd be fine just as long as it didn't go in sideways. Let's see. So, what kind of propane grill does your neighbor have? I don't know. I just I, I heard about the propane part after. I after I was walking Gizmo. Oh. I thought he actually set the place on fire. Grilling indoors. The smartest motherfucker in the world, huh? You gotta have a commercial grade kitchen exhaust fan to be doing that shit. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Adolf. Adolf is following me now. Cool. Mm hmm I had a friend named Adolf in elementary school. The cool guy. Hey, Adolf, you didn't go to uh, Central Elementary in North Carolina, did you? It's like meeting somebody named John and be like, I went to school with somebody named John. Did you go to school? Well, I've never met anybody named Adolf before, except for that one guy. So that's a big difference. It's got some bad stigma. Does it? Yeah. Because yeah. of, of that one guy named Adolf. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. That and it's his screen name. That's not necessarily his real name. Okay, server's up and I'm not stuck in a hangar. <laughs> He's not stuck? I, well, now I'm worried if I'm going to be stuck. <coughs> I guess no, there's only one way for me to find out. I had you out in the open tarmac and I had me in the hangar. Because I wasn't too sure about your wingspan. My wingspan's pretty fucking big. Yeah, that's why I didn't stick you in the hangar. Yep, the A-10 doesn't fit in all the holes. I'm speeding. Are they going to give me a ticket? Uh, you're going to save a major city, so I don't think they're going to give a shit. Oh, they don't give a shit about speeding as long as I'm checked out in the airplane, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, actually, they do give a shit about speeding. But... It's like one of those things where it's just like easier to get forgiveness and permission. <laughs> if you don't speed, then the Verge Khalif is going to be no more. I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah. <coughs> A 
I suppose if they discharge me for it, I can always just apply for a job with a PMC, right? Yeah. What you all shitting about? Get your missions. Uh, missions get a little bit tighter than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Uh. Trying to keep this tower from getting bombed. Oh, well, I think I got this other bomber's attention, so that's okay. I don't think he's going to be able to get his bombs off. <coughs> All right, I am Oscar Mayer. <laughs> ETA. 22 minutes. Nice. No, you don't, Mr. Bomber. Mr. Bomber! I'm really hoping that co-worker has that airbrushing stuff for me today. That would be like second Christmas. <laughs> and it's not that I don't have the money to just buy the stuff myself it's that's a lot of money to not have to spend you know what I mean yeah. and it's not like I have a deadline for building my own model kits so I can wait I need to finish these last two that you got me. These, um, Etch-a-Sketch models. <laughs> I got the fuselage for the space shuttle started. Cool. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it would be worth making a, a video series on doing the Apache? I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of scale model or stuff out there already on the internet. Could be good. And it doesn't take a lot of bullets to take these things down. You're firing like 200 bullets in half a second. <laughs> yeah, I just like literally went zip zip. 
Yeah, that's doesn't take a lot of bullets. It's like that's as many bullets fitting in a fucking ammo can for a 50 cal. <laughs> it's like ten thousand dollars worth of bullets right there in a quick tap of the button. It's like saying, man, it doesn't take a lot of nukes to level a city. <laughs> wow, so this is uh, Red Force stuff, huh? Guy shits on fire. Damn. Can't believe it. He's still trying to come back for more. If it's the one I'm looking at, he's already jettisoned his bombs. Probably flying to an airfield to land or something. So this uh, 70 second scale Apache I'm going to be making, I'm going to have the cockpit closed with the pilots in it. Do you think I should bother detailing the instruments in there? Because they're going to be pretty fucking hard to see. Uh, I don't know, do you think people would pay attention to that kind of detail? It's going to be sitting in my display case, so I don't know. I think it would be a big deal not to. Sixteen minutes out, leveling off, so my flight time ought to speed up. Of course, I don't think there are a lot of or any cockpit detailing kits for this scale. I know the new fancy 3D printed stuff isn't done for 70 second scale because it's too damn small. Oh, you know they came out with a SR-71A Blackbird model kit? Ooh, cool. That'd be easy to paint. You just dip it in a bunch of black paint and you're done. Yeah. 148 scale, so it's a pretty decent size. Yeah, that should just come painted. Sounds that's easy, though. That's a Shilka, all right. I'm gonna give him a bomb, actually. Oh, 
Oh fuck, those aren't shilkas. The fuck did you put down there? I thought they were shilkas. Guns on that thing are pretty fucking big for a shilka. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. I don't know. That's something else. Oh yeah, well they're shooting at me from here. Yep. Took out one of those helicopters. <laughs> Dang, yeah, they're still shooting at me. The fuck? Those guns might have a little extra reach than a Shulka. <sighs> well, my bombs aren't oh, fucking things. releasing. Warning, autopilot. Flat cannons. In your, your rudder, maybe they shot it off. I hope that's what it is because I'd hate to think that like one of my controls aren't working. Yeah, thank goodness they just shot off my rudder. I thought maybe something happened. <laughs> oh, it's okay, they just sliced my plane in half. I was worried maybe the computer was fucked up. Well, I'd, I'd rather have my rudder shot off, my rudder shot off than. <coughs> having to deal with uh, trying to f figure out what's wrong with my actual real rudder. Yeah, I got you. Connected to the computer. Mm hmm. Effectively out of the fight, but I did my part. Let's watch out for those guns, they got me from a long way out. Yep. I'm leaving one bomber to limp home with bus Rifle? fuel tanks just to tell the tale. Rifle. ZSU-57. That's what those are. And I was looking at the thing and it's like, these aren't fucking shilkas. Those barrels are way too fucking long for shilkas. That's why I was asking, is you put tanks down there? <laughs> yeah, they does have tanks down there, too. <coughs> what do you think of the whole compound I built? Built it from scratch. Well, they shot you down, so I'm happy. <laughs> They haven't shot me down quite yet, but partway there. Yeah, they took that rudder clean off your ass right there. Yeah. You're flying, uh, you're doing a flying wing now. Yeah. I still have a stabilizer, right? Yeah, I still got my elevators with there. No, 
Well, I hope you didn't put down too many of those fucking things, otherwise this is gonna be a mission failure. Well, primary target's just that one scud. Or there might be two of them next to each other, but either way, if you get one of them, you're probably gonna get the other. My last two Mavericks are out. Oh, that was a tank tank. Okay, so... Three AA guns and two tanks are out. And for some reason I'm having really fucking bad stuttering. I'm guessing it's all the shit that's in the mission. Cause I have Steam closed. I have everything closed in what in the browser except Twitch. I'm Warning, getting auto bad auto. stuttering. Really? You're gonna spike me? I'll turn that off, sir. I don't care. <laughs> just don't, just don't let any foxes loose. <laughs> don't have any. I got a couple rounds of guns. That's it. Not that I can use them. I need my rudder for that. Okay. So where's the fucking scud down here? If I was an asshole, where would I put a scud? Uh, just behind the main hangar, in between the back of the hangar and the helipads. Oh, so I gotta come around. Toggle markers. Guys coming back? He's gotta land somewhere. Did you give him an airbase to land at? Yeah. I guess. I mean, this guy's gonna have a conversation. He's heading back towards Dubai. Gotta do it very carefully so I don't lose control. Are you sure they haven't already fired? That scud launch looks pretty fucking empty. Well, let me look over and see if I can... The Burj Khalif still looks like it's standing. Okay. So one's empty, the other one's got a missile. Is that how you put it down? Well, they both had missiles, so I'm guessing he did fire and he must have missed. Are the buildings really strong? My brakes don't work. Stands the reason if it was strong enough to take out your fucking rudder, it's strong enough to take out a lot of stuff. Yeah, definitely took out some stuff. Can't do any tight turns either. 
Well, he can't do anything. He dropped all his shit. So. Mm hmm. But then again, you could always do a Muhammad Atta right into that tower. But I know the AI is not smart enough for that. Not really. Not unless you specifically program it somehow. Yeah, so either way. If it were real life, I'd still try and shoot him down, but it's just an AI trying to make a landing somewhere. There's a hot crater next to the hangar. Did you make an attempt on the scud launchers at all? Nope. Maybe that thing misfired and hit the hangar with the scud. <laughs> Maybe. That would be the first misfire. I tested the mission like four times last night. I don't know. That crater's right in front of the truck. That's hilarious. I did shoot down one helicopter and it went towards the hangars. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Did I take out the scud with the helicopter? No, the Scud truck's fine. It just has no oh, missile yeah. on it. Show me the boom. There's my shadow. There's the boom. Oh. That's one dead Scud launcher. And two dead guys who are standing next to it. That's the primary. So, mission accomplished. One I don't know, time. man. I see tanks down there and I'm a tank killer. Okay. <laughs> and I still got bombs left. So either way, mission accomplished, so... Mm-hmm. Pretty much that whole facility can go away if you, if you can manage. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up those AA guns. Good, get some revenge for me. That really fucking work. Waiting for the smoke to clear here. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Yeah, that worked. What do you do? <laughs> I had um, seven multi-purpose laser-guided rockets left, so I was at mm -hmm. I don't know 17,000 feet, well outside of his range. I said they're laser guided. If they if they're coming straight down, they're really not going to lose any energy. You know, it's not mm -hmm. like it's not like if I was firing seventeen thousand feet away horizontally. So I dive bomb <laughs> those fuckers and turned on the laser as I was pulling up, and they all fucking hit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this is not my playground. remember that one. <laughs> and I didn't even fire him dead on because I knew he was going to start targeting me. I, I just got him in the general vicinity of my HUD and they tracked. <laughs> nice.
Pull up, pull up. Are you lighting me up? Me? I don't have a fucking radar. <laughs> okay. See those air defenses over to buy. Must be. You know the longbows got a radar too, right? Ah, uh, okay, maybe those ones are longbows. Not that they could do anything from here. Not really. Just being jerks. Hit, 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 hit. Fuck you. That's one Apache down. <laughs> Not often I get to use these sidewinders. <laughs> I bring them out all the damn time. Where's the other one? There he is. Give me a hit. <laughs> Splash. You better eject. Now I'll get ejection seats. What? I thought they had ejection seats. Pretty sure they don't, because they don't have breakaway rotor blades. Yeah, but that's the whole fun of it. I wanted to watch them get chopped up. One gun run for posterity, and then I got a RTB. Yeah. I went ahead and started RTB. Got their attention. Got some wing strikes there. Everything seems to be running though. Ground Chief can buff it out. Yeah, Chief's gonna be uh, having a full day with us today. Pretty sure I came back with more in my plane than you did. Yeah. I need to look and see if I even have any holes from that. I don't see any. I don't either. I'm surprised I didn't take out my engine. That hit pretty close. Check my gauges here. Everything's normal. Fuel's not going out any faster than it normally does? Nope. Okay. 
Fuck yeah. Hawk says the that pouring sound of the A10, man. Starting pod off. Leave Master Arm on just for procedure. happy I finally found a use for those laser guided rockets. <laughs> those things are such a pain in the ass to do a level run with like a traditional rocket but you can dive bomb those fuckers in. Anything fun planned for day? Uh, get some quarters for laundry and uh, write. More writing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll do some of that tonight. Just enjoying the fact that I'm starting to feel better. Flying a little lopsided though. Hmm? I don't even know why either. <coughs> My wing load isn't terribly off. something to do with the autopilot like I turn the autopilot off I trim it out it flies level I turn the autopilot on I'm flying at a fucking slant I guess the autopilot's got a limp could be I'm gonna come in from the desert just in case I lose control
change on the plan once you get this house. Well, maybe they shouldn't have built a house in front of a runway. <laughs> Hey, I got my brakes to work. They weren't working? No, nah, I had to like keep wiggling it. I wonder if that means you lost some hydraulic pressure. Uh, pressure's still good. Unless, of course, the gauge is. Sure, got a lot of air holes in that thing now. Yeah. In fact, you got a shit ton of holes in your engine area. I'm surprised your engine's still running. Sounds a little funny. Look, I don't see a check engine light, so I think I'm okay. That's everything I gotta worry about. The chief can go through the checklist for me, right? Mm -hmm. That's his job, maybe. My own personal major repairs to my plane. I think that they might just take the engine and just build a whole new plane around it. <laughs> <clears throat> that is definitely a write-off. Probably would have saved more of the plane if I did a gear up landing. Yep. 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 For some reason, it wanted to go hard rudder left the moment my wheels touched. So I don't know what that was about. More than likely, um, you either had a brake system failure or a tire blown. Mm. And unfortunately, a brake system failure, as far as I understand it, in these things, you don't know until you hit the ground. Like you might have had a piece of flak just wedge itself between the the wheel and the strut. Mm -hmm. It's like a bicycle when you just jam something in it, you know? Yeah. It definitely felt like something wasn't turning. Mm-hmm. No, I think that's what it was, because that's what it looked like on my screen. Mm. Some kind of some kind of landing gear failure that you wouldn't have known until you hit the ground. Nice to know that wasn't my fault. Well, thank you all for watching. Another successful sortie. You'll have to put down those flak units more. That was an interesting challenge. Okay. I'll uh, keep track of what it was I used. ZSU 50 something. I'm almost to your airplane. Yeah. I'm walking towards the alpha sign right now. No, I don't see you. Yeah, oh, ZSU, yeah. ZSU 57. As I said, it just shot you down. Yeah. <laughs> shot you down. Like that doesn't say what it. it fired. A kill's a kill. Yeah. I'm going to go get some lunch, get ready for work. We'll be back next week. More two minutes shoot down. We'll be back next week with more. Hopefully, Brian's neighbors won't light themselves on fire, so he'll be here on time. Yeah. Till next time. Y'all have a good one.